Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon and in today's video I'm going to be doing Instagram polls, choose my makeup. So I put up these polls a few days ago, I've let the you know choices come through and yeah if you do enjoy the video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and comment down below any other videos you'd like to see. Other than that let's get started. So for brows I put up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe and the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown. So I put these both up and the winner was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade from, it won by 60% and this one was 40%. So I am gonna be going in with the Anastasia Dip Brow today. So spray a tiny bit of setting spray in there as well, just because it, it's quite old and it's a bit hard and a bit, uh, so yeah, I'm going to spray a tiny bit of setting spray into there as well and just get an angled brush and just work through the product so that it makes it smoother and softer. I literally just take a tiny little bit on the brush and with a light hand, I'm just going to start drawing a line underneath my eyebrow, but a, quite a soft line. But it doesn't matter if it goes harsh because you can just brush through with a spoolie afterwards. And then I like to extend out the end a little bit. Work some of the product through my eyebrow to make the colour more even. That's pretty much all I do. Just makes them look a bit more full, as you can tell from this one. To this one, it just looks a bit more full. Okay, so I'm back and I did go ahead and prime my eyelids as well. Because the next thing I'm going to be doing is eyeshadow. So the two palettes that I put up on the polls were the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. And the Fizz by Nature 3503 Morphe palette as well. So the eyeshadow look I'm going to do today is inspired by a girl called Ellie Willens MUA on Instagram. She is insane. Okay, so I just tried to do an eye look and I didn't like how it was looking. So I am going to try a different look. It is inspired by the same girl, um, Ellie. So I am just, it's the similar colours and stuff. It's just a different style, a different shape. So we're just going to give it a go try again i mean makeup is just trial and error i'm gonna go in i'm gonna go in with, with that dark shade again that i started off with in the the first look that i tried and i am just gonna keep the color in a semicircle over the eye i'm just gonna pack it on. i'm gonna take this brush with this color on it I'm just gonna pack the colour on and start slowly blending it out in between those two colours, just like so. And then I'm just gonna pack it over this top bit here. Pack it on this colour here and this colour. Oh, can't even see. I'm gonna take these two colours and mix them together. Tap off the excess powdery bits. Oh, I'm not going to use that brush. The blending is going to go it's up to the eyebrow. So we're just going to blend that out. Like so. I'm just going to really deepen it with the black and a mixture of the brown. I'm going to go really careful right now. Because I don't really work well with the colour black when it comes to eyeshadow. I'm just not good at blending it out if I'm honest. So yeah, I'm just gonna slowly. It looks really patchy on camera, but in real life it doesn't look that bad, like how patchy it looks on the camera. Um, but hey, there's nothing I can do about it. Cut a slight crease about to here, so then we can add the glitter on afterwards as well. I don't know why, you know you just have some really off makeup days. That is just my day today. I just feel like, the makeup it just hasn't gone right it hasn't gone how we wanted it to go but okay, yeah so i'm so back and i must say the glitter is beautiful it's so gold and shimmery um so yeah next is mascara the two that i put up was the maybelline lash sensational and the benefit they're real and the benefit they're real one by 51 percent. so it was close um and this one was on 49 so i'm gonna pop on the benefit mascara and then I'll be back to do lashes. So I'm back, mascara is on. It doesn't really make much difference. It is running out a little bit. So yeah, um, for lashes, I put up the Peaches and Cream lashes and 
this pack from Amazon and the peaches and cream ones one by 52 percent and these were on 48 i just think eyelashes make such a difference to every makeup look so i'm just gonna pop these on um the glue i use is the duo lash glue and i just pop them on with some tweezers i can't do them with my hands i have to use tweezers so yeah i'll be back in a sec so i'm back and these are the lashes um i think the eye look looks so much better now that i have lashes on i will finish off my under eyes and mascara once i've done my main primer i put up the fenty beauty pro filter primer i've had this for so long i probably shouldn't be using it but we're going to use it anyway and then for the second option i cho chose the milk makeup hydro grip primer i really wanted it to be this one just because i feel like it suits my skin a lot better it yeah i just really like it but the Fenty Beauty one has one by 51%. So I'm just going to pop a squirt of that on. And just work that right into my pores. Good. The next thing that I put up a poll for was foundation. So the two options were the Milani Conceal and Define. Oh, Conceal and Perfect, sorry. Foundation and the Ordinary. I'm just going to pop that on my face hopefully this is quite a thick foundation this wet sponge well damp sponge and just tap that in it's not look too bad cream contours i put up was the revolution foundation and the laritzi contour stick um the revolution contour stick actually won by 60 percent. so i'm just gonna pop that where i usually would like so and i'm just going to take this brush which is what i usually use and just blend. use is concealer um this is the concealer i use to make the cut crease carve out my eyebrows yeah so the two concealers were the l'oreal l'oreal infallible concealer and the revolution conceal and define the revolution conceal and define one by 53 percent so we're going to use that this is so disgusting i had to take the little bit off the top to get more product out of it because i ran out of it the fenty beauty pro filter powder so i didn't put a pole up for that because i powdered my face and that's the only one i've got so i'm just going to take a little bit of that under my eyes to set my under eyes because i have oily skin if i don't set down my face my face is going to melt off so i just take a little bit of powder where I've basically concealed the bronzers oh my god it's broken was the Be Bold bronzing palette or the Fenty Beauty um I always mix up my words with this uh bronzer um it's just a bronzer the Be Bold palette or the Fenty Beauty bronzer that's a mouthful um yeah so this one by 76% so yeah won a lot by a lot I don't sometimes do I, I can't even think now sometimes I like swipe sometimes I tap but whatever works best for you is fine the next thing I go in with is blusher um these are the two blushes this is actually a single eyeshadow but I thought it could work for blush but um this one did end up losing the brush I usually use swirl it around a few times and just pop that on the cheekbones has a nice little tiny little sheen to it um i usually use two blushes but i didn't so that is the little bit of bacon done um the next thing is actually highlight the anastasia beverly hills loose highlight and the elf moonlight pearls highlight um yeah they're both so nice i would usually choose this one this one won so bonus yeah you don't need a lot of this it's literally so pigmented the one that i like to use and i just tap it in a like in the lid that has a tiny bit of excess in it and then i just so i'm actually going to wipe the bake off like you can just see it makes your nose look smaller wipe that off 
The two setting sprays that I put up was this one, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this so much. It keeps your makeup on for so long. Um, but one I recently discovered was the Pixi Glow Mist. This is really nice. It makes your skin look so natural, even though you've got so much makeup on. Well, I usually wear quite a lot of makeup. Um, the Urban Decay setting spray actually won, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this, even though just recently I have been preferring this one. So I'm just gonna actually put up a poll for a red lip or a nude. Um, the red is on 37% and the nude one at 63%. So I'm gonna be using this Revolution Matte Lipstick and a NYX lip liner. Overline them a tiny bit. I did say on my last video, oh God, I did say in my last video I don't like to overline them too much, but I do like to a tiny bit. I am going to have to blend the colours in a little. So this is the finished makeup look. I really love how it turned out. This is a really nice, like, soft glam, because some people really do go glam when they want to. So I'd say this is a soft glam look. Perfect for if you're just wanting to make a really nice effort if you're going out anywhere. Not that you can right now but when you can go out um yeah so i just want to say thank you to everyone that took part in doing the polls and making this video happen because without the polls and you guys voting i wouldn't have been able to do this so yeah um if you did enjoy the video don't forget to smash the thumbs up button um comment subscribe and go check out my instagram which will be in the description below um but for now i'll see you in my next one bye